Tats Stardate September 2018 Exact date and whereabouts withheld Shower review There's a slight resonance in the shower given its dimensions It's not all that friendly Let's move on The shower First thing we notice is no shower mat. Someone's throwing a towel down there. I've had a shower, so I can make an appraisal of the exact workings of the shower. We have another one of these instant heating gizmos. Love the idea. Hate the operation. Zero pressure. Uh, you can get a nice blend of hot and cold water but the pressure is awful. The shower rose itself, uh, a bit ordinary, uh, moves up and down reasonably freely, reasonably. Someone's left the ends very untidy. The ends off, end off. Tiling seems to be of fair quality. Kind of digging the black and white thing going on. It's pretty cool. A very colourful shower curtain. Um, totally out of keeping with the black and white. I think it's sort of Scream 70s, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It does go to the edges of the shower. That's good. They're pre by preventing too much water from creeping out. Major problem is that the drainage is terrible. It was so bad that towards the end of my shower, when I normally have nothing but cold water, the basin was so full that I couldn't risk having any more water enter it. So I had to exit my shower sans cold water. Really didn't like that. I love cold water at the end of a shower. Um, what else have we got in here? Not much in the way of ventilation. This little thing going on up there. Uh, it's pretty clear now. I came out of the shower about half an hour ago. It's not too bad. However, I do want to make a comment. There are no shower hooks or towel hooks, as you can see. So one needs to rest one's towel on the toilet roll dispenser, which I find a little uncool, and the quality of the, sh the towel. This is one of the unfluffiest towels I've ever encountered. That gets a zero out of ten for fluffiness. Zero out of ten for fluffiness. So all up, I think we're giving the shower a 2.5. 2.5 over.